Okay, hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started on Assignment 5, which is a SimNet project in our CSIT 134 PowerPoint class. So after you log into SimNet, this is what you'll see on your screen. Of course, you'll see all of the orange chapters from the textbook, and you'll see a new blue project link here. Make sure it says Assignment 5, and it's due March 11th, 2017. Go ahead and click on that box, and uh, when you get to this screen, be sure that you t make use of all of the links that you have over here on the left-hand side. This is the first thing you do, of course, is to download your files and work with them, and when you're all done, then you're going to come back to this screen, save the file, upload it, and then when you're ready to grade it, click Grade My File. You can always upload your file and not click Grade My File if you're not ready for it to be graded just yet. You might want to try working on it some more, but uh, and then upload a second version of it, because you can always upload it twice, only twice. But in any case, the first thing you do is you start with downloading the files. So if you click right here first, Best Practices, that's a really good thing to do because it will show you advice and tips and things on how to score the best possible score, the highest grade you can get for this project. It's going to tell you everything you need to know on how to do this. Okay, so uh, if I were you, I would always click best practices first. After you take a look at that, you can also click the solution link right here. When you click solution, it opens up what your files, your rather your slides, should look like in the end when you're all finished creating them and working on them. You can work, they're not actual PowerPoint slides, it's more like an Adobe Reader file, so you can't manipulate them or change anything on them, but this gives you a really clear picture of what each file, or rather each PowerPoint slide, should look like when you're finished with the project. Then you have your instruction page. Here it says Office for Windows 2013 or 2016. Go ahead and click on that when you're ready to start working and get a sense of uh, the first steps. This gives you a, a, a list. It tells you what you're going to be creating, gives you a, a list of skills covered in the project, and as you scroll up the page it will give you all the instructions step by step what to do for this project. Okay, so I'm going to close that screen. Then this, there's a start file here. The start file is a PowerPoint file, slideshow, that you're going to begin with when you start these instructions. In, in other words, this is the beginning of the project. So you would click right here where it says All Office Versions. Go ahead and click that. And that should open it might take a few moments. It'll open the slideshow that you're going to start with. You'll notice a lot of the slides, they're all done already, but you're going to be making changes. You're going to be modifying this slideshow presentation based on the instructions that you read. And when you're done modifying it, that's your project. You're going to have to click up here. You might have to click up here where it says Enable Editing. This little yellow bar is intended to protect your computer from possible viruses. So to start working on it, you have to click Enable Editing. And finally, uh, along the way, as you're reading these instructions, some of the steps are going to tell you to use a resource file or insert a picture from somewhere or some kind of pattern. So this is where you're going to find those files. These are resource files. If you click here, All Office Versions under Resources, click that. It takes a few moments for it to download and it should open automatically for you, but it might not. If it doesn't, in my case, on my computer, it doesn't open automatically. I have to look down here in the lower left corner where it might be a zipped folder. So uh, you just click on that, and it opens up the folder for you, and then double click one more time, and these are then the pictures and files you're going to be needing to complete your project. Okay, I'm going to close that. So again, when you, these are all the links you need to complete the project to get a, an idea of what it, what it involves and what it's going to look like, and you're going to upload 
and have SimNet grade your work. And then I look at your work and make sure that it is correct. So if you have any questions about the doing a SimNet project again, please let me know. Just email me and I'll respond as soon as possible.